Hey there do-it-yourself technicians and teachers. I'm here to help teachers get their content online and today I want to talk to you about editing video on a desktop or a laptop. Last week's video was about editing video on your phone and this week I'm talking about editing on a laptop or a desktop. Why would you choose one or the other? Well it simply depends where you feel most comfortable. If you're cool doing it on a small screen, good for you. I prefer a large screen or two a keyboard and a mouse just gives me more control but I'm old school. Like the previous video this isn't a full tutorial. It's an overview of some of what's available and why you might want to try one or another. Firstly a word about Macs. If you have a Mac use iMovie. It's fantastic for the simple stuff and some of the not so simple stuff. If you want more a couple of the programs that I've looked at in the rest of this video also have a Mac version or if you really want to go all the way Go straight to the top and get Final Cut Pro for your Mac. On a Windows machine, you can start at the base level using the built-in Photos app. Yes, I know you may laugh, but it's actually a decent video editor. It allows you to trim and split clips, add transitions, add music, and a bunch more. It's almost the old Windows Movie Maker, but hidden in the Photos app. The only issue I had with it is that it wouldn't support some of the .mov files that one of my cameras produced so I had to convert it in order to test that out. Not a major drawback, but a bit of a hassle. The second thing I'm going to suggest is the Adobe Spark and Spark Video apps. These can be used on a smartphone, tablet, or on a desktop machine in a web browser, and do do a pretty decent job for basic tasks. The only problem with being online is it restricts you to using small files, otherwise it just takes far too long to upload each file before you can start working on them. Unless, of course, you've got blazingly fast internet. Good luck to you. Next on my list is VideoPad by NCH Software. If you look carefully, there is a version that's free for home use if you want to try it out. Although, to be honest, the software itself is fairly inexpensive, especially with the sales on now, or the 50% discount that they give to teachers and students. You just have to dig through their page a bit to find those. This is a great, simple and not so simple editor, and it does a pretty good job. Up from here, I'm gonna recommend three products, but this is if you're serious about learning video editing and want to do all the cool stuff. Adobe Premiere Pro is the editor that I use all the time. It's powerful, but it's complicated. It's also quite expensive. There is a lightweight version available called Adobe Premiere Elements that costs 150 Australian dollars and might be perfect for what you want because the full version retails at a $30 a month subscription. The good news is, is that if you own an Adobe Creative Cloud license, it's included in that. This includes the licenses that many government departments, and I know the Department of Education here in Victoria, have it available for any teacher who uses an at education.vic.gov.au email address. Premiere is one of the industry standards, can do just about anything you want, and there's thousands of tutorials on the internet for it. Every time I don't know how to do something, I just put Premiere Pro and whatever I'm trying to do into Google or YouTube and an answer comes up pretty much straight away. HitFilm Express is another package that's used quite heavily by the YouTube community. The basic version is free and will largely do anything you could possibly ever want. In fact, the free version has over 400 built-in effects and presets. The pro version has 850. Just finding the one that you want could be a problem. If you're using the free version and there's something specific that you want to be able to do that it can't, you can actually buy individual plugins and effects from between $20 and $50. Or you can upgrade to the full pro version for $350. My video from the middle of last week on editing apps for your phone was completely edited in HitFilm Express. The commands were very similar to Adobe Premiere and I had little problem adapting. There's also lots of tutorials with really high production value. In fact, they're fun to watch just on their own. The last program I want to talk about is DaVinci Resolve. This one was a little more confusing to me. It's certainly powerful, but I kept finding myself looking for the right key or button to press to do what I want. But that probably more than anything is because I've used Adobe Premiere for way too long. It certainly is powerful, and the free version seems to do way more than anything I'm ever going to need. I skipped right past two whole sections on colour correction and audio effects, so I know that I missed out on some of the key effects that it can do. But there's only so much time I have available. There is an upcoming video that I will eventually link up here that I edited completely in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, that's a quick rundown, and I know there's lots of other editors out there. 
Please share in the comments below if there's one of these that you love or something else that you also think is great. It's great to share the resources with others. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. I'm specifically focused at the moment on trying to resource teachers to bring their courses online. There's some more videos you may not have seen before here and here. And if you click the subscribe button and the bell down here, then you won't miss any of the new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.